I need to report on the activity of the Jesuits regarding my mother's clone. Let's see if I can get this fixed. Um, it appears she's been kidnapped by the Jesuits, which is nothing new. They've been doing this for years. Uh, let me read you the latest correspondence between me and Brent Spiner. I'll start off with the letters that I wrote to him. Today is July 27, 2011. Dear Brent, forward this to Vladimir right away. I've heard about what Lori and her expendable clones are doing to you, that the alarm keeps going off at your house. Only write when you feel safe. I understand completely. Dear Vladimir, this is Vladimir Putin. I suspect my real mother has been kidnapped by the Jesuits. My mother's clone just called me on the phone in hysterics, screaming at me because I'm late for cleaning. Uh, this is typical of my mother's clone. As you know, we've had a real problem with my mother's clone over the years. Please send out law enforcement on this right away and make sure my real mother is okay. As you know, my mother's clone is the biggest reason you have not been able to give me my writing income or to meet me. Right now, she's ringing my phone off the hook and I'm ignoring her. I hope they haven't killed my real mother. Get on this right away. Love your sexual lover, Gail Cord Schuler. And then I added this. I refuse to deal with my mother's clone. I told her I canceled my cleaning appointment today. I was supposed to go over to her house and clean for her. And we'll do it next week, that I'm too busy. She's in hysterics and is harassing me on the phone, but I don't trust her. We may not be able to get get money to me for law school through her because of this clone. Big question to Vladimir Putin, why is my mother's Jesuit, Jesuit clone still alive? Next message that I sent to Brent. Dearest Brent, remember to forward all my, all my letters to Vladimir Putin, and this is referring to Brent Spiner. My mother's clone left me a message on my cell phone's answering service where she said, that she was through with me and that I now owed her a hundred dollars a month and she wants me to pay her back all the money I owe her about two thousand dollars every month about a hundred dollars a month this is definitely my mother's clone and she's meaner than usual arrest her and try her at the Nuremberg war crimes trial with possible death penalty I've been informed that my real mother has been seriously injured get our best doctors on her and for God's sake get rid of my mother's clone I've canceled my cleaning appointment with this clone because she is a dangerous woman my and my life is in danger when I'm around her I'm not taking any chances especially now that the Jesuits have become more aggressive against us I'm bringing my car into Chrysler tomorrow to check fluid levels and hoses but if it costs too much money I may not be able to fix the problem Fortunately, I don't think my car is, is experiencing any serious problems right now. So sorry to have to tell you all to tell you this stuff, but as you know, dealing with Jesuits is not pretty. Your devoted wife, Gail Cord Schuler. And then Brent did respond on this, and here is his response. Uh, let me get back into. Um, Dear Gail, and this is dated July 27, 2011. I talked to Vladimir Putin today. He is very busy working on this. From what we know, your real mother has been taken hostage. The reason we are unable to snag her clone is that every time we are close to nabbing it, they threaten death on your real mother. Our last attempt was close, and as a result, they injured her as a warning to us. They are very serious about their threats. We are afraid of what they might do if we did capture and execute a clone. And for your mother's sake, we have been as cautious as possible about this. These Jesuits are smart. They will eventually release your mother and switch her out with the clone again, but we don't know when. And I would like to say they've been doing this for years now. In fact, I was living with my mother's clone from about 2000, July 2001 till about 2000. 
I'd say about 2006. And they sent her off to India or something for years. And I'd been, been living with the clone. And you know, oh, it was just, it was, that's why I had to move out of the house and I'm on my own. Even though it would be cheaper for me to live with my mother, I, I, I'm often stuck with the clone. And she's dangerous. She's gone into my files and taken stuff out of my legal files. She's stolen stuff out of my room when I stayed in her. She almost beats me up if I read the Bible in the morning and if I don't get up at seven sharp, you know, I just, she's mean. I, I had to move out of the house. It's expensive for me to live on my own, but I refuse. Anyways, let's get back to Brent's letter. I'm just saying, I would appreciate it if born again Christians, Bible believing Christians would pray over this matter. Um, I'm getting sick and tired of dealing with this clone. And Jesuits have been using clones for years and they've been covering it up and keeping it top secret and and because of this, they're getting away with all sorts of stuff. And they're, and they're deceiving people with their lies. Vladimir Putin has actually come to my mother's house and tried to give me my writing income. And the clone was there. So it didn't work. We are afraid of what they might do if we did capture and execute a clone. And for your mother's sake, we have been as cautious as possible about this. These Jesuits are smart. They will eventually release your mother and switch her out with the clone again, but we don't know when. The best we know to do right now is to fight until they give up and abandon their current mission, which seems to be keeping you from going to law school. Uh, the re you might say, why would they care about California Northwestern Online Law School? It's just some punky online law school. And you may not even pass the bar. That's because the Jesuits know that Harvard Law School and Yale and maybe Oxford and all the big time law school, if I do enroll at California Northwestern Law School, Harvard has already contacted, Harvard Law School has already contacted them and said, we're going to work with you to design a curriculum just for Yale and I'm actually going to be studying Harvard Law. That's why the Jesuits are the Harvard, Harvard Law School has been interested in me for years. They've been observing me for years. And the dean of Harvard Law School actually talked to me brain to brain about a week ago and said, if we can get you to enroll online, and they agree that my best bet is to enroll online because if I go the regular route, it's just going to be too difficult. They'll probably mess my brain up when I take the law school admission test so I won't do very well by causing distractions. They can shoot stuff into the brain and cause the brain to go off and, and direct brain cell conversation. So I probably wouldn't do very well on the law school admission test. And then they'd knock me out that way. So we decided if, if I'm going to study law, I need to go an unconventional route, like through an online law school. And the Jesuits know that if I do go this route, that Harvard Law School, along with many of the top law schools in the world, are going to work together to design a curriculum just for me. See, they know that. So. so it doesn't matter if I only sit for the bar in California. They're worried that that could be an opening where I could launch and become Catherine the Great. And then, then it'll be the, you know, I'll set them back for 50 years. So they're all hyped up about this. You say, well, why do you want to go to law school? Well, I'm interested in law and medicine, but I want to go to law school. I have to admit it, to fight the Jesuits and to preserve our freedoms. And the Jesuits know it, so they don't want me in law school. Let's get back to Brent's letter. The best we know to do right now is to fight until they give up and abandon their current mission, which seems to be keeping you from going to law school. Our teams are investigating the matter very seriously and working on this. I will let you know if we turn up any more information. Stay safe. My Catherine the Great, Brent Spiner. Uh, just pray for us, okay? You know, to be honest with you, I'm getting sick and tired of dealing with these bastards. <laughs> but I have no choice but to deal with them. They're obsessed with me because Vladimir Putin. You know what really, really freaks me out? I When you go to their website, orderofthejesuits.com, they describe all these lovers in my life as powerful men that they have to knock down. It's like they have such a morbid way of looking at things, you know. I don't see Brent Spiner as a powerful man. Neither do I see Vladimir Putin as a powerful man. You know why they use terminology like this? It's because they're power-hungry bastards, and all they care about is power and money. For uh, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You know, Brent 
would never describe himself as a powerful man, and neither would Vladimir Putin. And actually, Vladimir is quite a humble guy. He's one of the meekest and most humble men I've ever dealt with. But, you know, he, he would never describe himself that way. But the Jesuits, the fact that they see these men like Matthew McConaughey, Hugh Jackman, Brent Spiner, Vladimir Putin as powerful men shows you what, what they care about. Power. And they will do anything to maintain and keep their power. Uh, just pray for us. We're up against an empire. And you know, when I go to work at Walmart, about 98% of the customers I get in my line are Jesuits. And they all look at me with this dirty look. I look at their eyes, and you know what I see? I see pure evil. <laughs> you say, how can you stand it? Well, I'm Catherine the Great. I face my problems in the face and deal with it. And they hate that about me. But, you know, I look at it this way. I'd rather go down fighting them to my death than to be alive and live like a wimp and knowing I'd let this evil prosper. And if I sat back and allowed them to set up their stinking concentration camps and, and their Adolf Hitler and Stalinist dictatorship over the world and realized I didn't do my best to stop it, I think I'd feel like committing suicide when they take over. So I'd rather just go down in my own blood and fight them to the bitter end. At least... At least if I go down this way, I go down with a good conscience. I sleep good at night. Yeah, Jesuits. I guess I am Catherine the Great, because I think that was her attitude, too. Anyways, pray for us, please. And pray for my mother. I'm getting sick of dealing with this clone. She's a vicious, wicked woman. My mother really cares about me, but this clone doesn't. I mean, she knows I can't afford to pay her $100 a month right now. Why, well, I'm driving around in a car with no air conditioning. And that's not Brent Spiner's fault. The Jesuits knocked out the air conditioning using their satellite technology. And I've, I'm just grateful the car runs. I've been doing this for years. And, um, you know, and uh, what else am I doing? The car's radio went, the cassette player went out on me, so I'm listening to my tapes with a portable cassette player in the car. I figure as long as the car runs, I'm okay. So, we're in a war, and these, these Jesuits won't give up. And they're very clever. But I'm going to keep making these YouTube videos. And they're, they attack my computer every day, man. I, I, I clean out my cookies about once an hour. I run a registry cleaner about once every 24 hours. I have ABG uh, PC tune-up. I, I had a cheaper one that didn't work. I have to pay pretty good money for a computer cleaning software. I mean, uh, I have... I have like an online service, and I'm going to make sure I update it. Because if I don't, they'll, they, they're trying to send nasty viruses. They're trying to knock out my computer. I, like I said, I clean out my cookies about every hour or so. Uh, I run my PC tune-up. I have, I've got two computers. I have PC tune-up on both computers. I usually run it about every 24 hours. Because if I don't, my computer just bogs down and slows. We are in a war. Just any Bible believers out there, pray for us. And pray for my mother, because she's being held hostage right now. And, and I'm getting sick of this. Jesuits, I just have a message for you. You know, you work so hard for the devil, I really pity you on Judgment Day. You're not going to have it good when you meet God at the Judgment, Jesuits. You're going to have it really, really bad. If there's any Jesuit out there that has a decent heart, it would be better to get out of that organization and have them kill you. At least you know where you're going to go when you die. You know, I really pity you Jesuits when you meet God Almighty. You're going to have it really, really bad. Really bad. And I don't think God appreciates it that you're targeting me because I'm from King David. The Jewish race, you know, every nation that targets the Jewish race goes down. Jesuits, your day's coming. You're going to go down. Boy, when you go down, you're going to go down hard. 